Hey, Dave's here. We need to talk about commuting. With the lockdown easing here in the UK, and public transport looking, well, not advisable, the option for many of us getting back to work is riding a bike. And with all that said, I think I found the ultimate commuting bike. It's a brand new leveret from Scottish company Shan Cycles. Now you might have heard of them. They're best known for their adventure bikes with distinctive names, the Stota and Astushi. But where those are custom made bikes, this is their first complete bike made for the very purpose of commuting, using feedback from the customers and their know-how. And it looks really on point for commuting. Got a nice steel frame. We've got a very sensible Gates Drive and Alfini hub set up at the back, full length mud guards, and you have a choice of a drop bar or a flat handlebar, depending on what you want. The bike, as you see it here, costs £1,995, but you can now get through the Cycle Work Scheme, which offers a whopping 42% discount. So definitely worth buying it through your employer if you can. Now, I've been riding this bike for the last few days, and it's lovely. Really comfy, fast, easy to use. But we'll go into more detail on how it rides later in the video. But first, let's dive into the details on the bike and point out everything you need to know about this new Leverett. Up until now, Shan Cycles has mostly dealt with custom made, custom ordered, custom painted bikes, and very lovely they are too. But this is their first complete bike designed for the purpose of commuting and it looks really good. They clearly put a lot of work into this over the last couple of years, really fine tuned the detail to make sure it's as suitable for commuting as it can possibly be. It's also quite a bold attempt for a small company to take on the more mainstream offerings in the commuting market. There are plenty of big brands that operate in this commuting space. So for Shan to take them on is quite bold and ambitious, and I love that. So we'll start with the frame. That's a hard sort of bike and it's a triple butted steel frame with some lovely details and a splendid paint job that hopefully this video is doing justice. We've also got really nice reflective logos to make sure you stand out when you're dashing across town in the low light. As you can see, it's got mud guards fitted using the mud guard mounts on the frame and the fork. And you can also fit a rear rack if you want to use panniers for lugging around extra stuff, laptops and shoes when you're going back and forth to work. All the cables are internally rooted so they're out of the mud and grime and it just looks really clean and modern. We've got two bottle cage bosses on the inside of the frame. Up front, we've got a nice beefy carbon fibre fork to give nice handling responses through the city traffic and a load of weight off the overall bike as well. And plenty of tyre clearance for these tyres that are fitted on this bike. Another really nice detail on this frame is the external threaded bottom bracket. And basically that means you're gonna have very little issue with it creaking or squeaking like a press fit. Very easy to maintain at home with very basic tools as well. The highlight of the bike is the transmission or the drivetrain. And rather than an oily chain and a rear derailleur, they've gone for simplicity and almost zero maintenance. So we've got a Shimano Alfini eight-speed gear hub and a Gates CDX belt drive. So no chain to oil or lube, uh, no exposed parts would potentially go wrong. Totally sealed, so when you're riding through the rain and the grime of a British winter, there's no parts to wear out or just go wrong. Totally sealed, should give no trouble at all through the long term. That Alfini gear hub is operated by a small micro shift bar end lever. It does take a bit of getting used to, but we'll go into more detail on that in the ride section of the video. But yeah, nice simple drivetrain really shows they've built a bike that's going to be reliable and just you can get on it every day and it's going to work with no problems at all. And then for stopping you in a hurry when a taxi pulls out in front of you, we've got nice hydraulic disc brakes with loads of power, loads of feel at the levers, um, and nice and easy to maintain. The pads last ages in hydraulic disc brakes as well, so good choice. You can't help but notice the tyres on this bike with the lovely tan sidewalls. They're a the really popular G1 from Schwabi, a fast rolling tyre on the road, but this tread pattern giving a bit of traction if you're going off-road, do some dirt, canal tow pass and the like. And this 35 millimeter width gives you plenty of cushioning on rough roads um, to help you deal with potholes and sunken drains and other road imperfections you might have to deal with. The tires are tubeless ready, as are the alloy rims, and the wheels are made by hand, by shand, and they have 32 spokes per wheel. So a real focus on being strong, 
and reliable wheels, these are gonna last a long time. This bike is fitted with a drop handlebar with a nice flair to give more control when you're dropped. But you can, if you want, spec a flat handlebar. So flat handlebars are a really popular choice in the city urban riding for many people, more upright riding position. But if you prefer drops for a more speedy ride on long distance commutes, then you have your option to go drops or flats depending on your preference with no difference on the price. And that's a really nice detail and something that not many manufacturers offer. And all the finishing kit is Shan's own design from the handlebar to the stem, the seat post and the very nicely padded saddle. Right, so those are the details on the new leveret. Probably time to go for a spin and see what it's all about on the road. So let's go for a ride. It's just lovely, very, very nice. This is a smooth, refined and comfy bike. It's got a nice upright riding position. The steering is fast for nipping in and out of side streets and traffic. And a steel frame and carbon fork deliver a smooth ride on rough roads with a lovely turn of speed when you stamp on the pedals. It's got a very solid feel. It's taut and tight through the corners, getting you safely from A to B. And it'll get you there dry, thanks to the full length mud guards, which are included in the price. The wide tires deal with rough roads, potholes, cobbles, and light gravel extremely well. If you want to go off-road or down a canal towpath, then you'll be just fine with tires with plenty of grip. And on the road, they are fast with low rolling resistance and no noise from the small nobbles. And how good did the tan sidewalk look? The gears change easily and quietly, and the whole drivetrain is very quiet during use. It does take a while to get used to the gear change lever, I will admit, but it's very simple in use. Now, personally, I don't find myself changing gear as often when commuting, especially across town, just in case you're put off by this. When it comes to hills and descents, the Alfini 8B provides plenty of range for spinning you up the climbs and blasting you down the other side. And because there's no oily chain, you're not going to get your clothes messy when you arrive at the office. With these mud guards, you can easily ride on wet and muddy roads and not get a muddy stripe up your back. While the Leveret is pitched as a commuter bike and it's really good for commuting, it's also really happy for long weekend rides too. Because underneath that commuting pitch, it's a really refined, long distance, comfy road bike. I've been doing some longer rides at the weekend, doing my local countryside routes, taking in the views and stopping for coffee and cake on the way home. And it's perfect for this relaxed, long distance style of riding. I can easily see the bike being useful for touring, all dacks, club rides, just general road riding, where you want the comfort, you want easy handling, and you want a nice, simple drivetrain with the benefit that full length mud guards give you. So overall, it is spot on for commuting, whether it's a short or long distance route, with road or off-road, and very little maintenance required, if at all. And on top of it all, it looks really good. It's a lovely paint job, a lovely attention to detail, and it's very distinctive and stands out from the usual options in this market. Now, the type of bike you choose for commuting depends on many factors. The distance, the terrain, the hills, off-road or on-road, and the type of bike you are happiest riding. But if you want something a bit special, then I think this Leveret is easy to recommend. It's a bit on the pricey side compared to some rivals in the space, but it's worth bearing in mind that a cycle to work scheme gives you quite a hefty discount. So definitely look to buy it through your employer if you can do that. Riding the bike reveals a lightweight, fast, sturdy, solid, easy handling bike with a super simple drivetrain and a really nice attention to detail and a lovely paint job with the reflective details, which I really like on this bike. And as I said in my ride section earlier, it's so much more than just a commuting bike. To call it a commuting bike is a bit unfair really, because it's so much more talented than that. I can easily see the bike being used for club rides, all axes, and other long distance rides. So ride to work Monday to Friday, yes, but don't put it away at the weekend this is just a lovely bike for a multitude of uses. Now, I hope you found this review of the new Shan Cycles Leveret useful and interesting. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment section below. But that is a wrap. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, put them down below. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more bike reviews like it's coming up soon. But that's everything. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you again soon.